Hi everyone, welcome back. Did you know when you're just having one of those days and you just want to watch a bit of The Untamed? So I thought I would get back into the behind the scenes that I had before. So this will be part two. Okay. <laughs> Your few lines. <laughs> <laughs> he's true, he, he's really good with his books. Reciting lines there. <sighs> I understand this. <laughs> I like hearing him talk so much. Three rows. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> Notice how many people are around them to help them. And like, it sounds strange, but even the things like your hair being out of place, they honestly they have to stop and redo everything. I like that they tease one another. Okay. Oh, he's got clips in his hair there. <laughs> he looks. He, he is young, but he seems so young in this room when he's saying about taking a picture. Is that blood? It's also a bit jarring when you see them using modern technology when you after watching the show. There's the wiring. <laughs> he really likes to tease him. <laughs> Just trying to ignore him now. <laughs> he understands it better than anyone. This is them just dancing now. Cause be careful, because you, you know how good he dances. Well, they both dance really good. Oh, idea time. You can also tell it's out of boredom because I would say 70% of even more of actors' time is just sat around waiting. People don't realize it's just waiting, waiting, waiting. And obviously, they're quite hot in this hot weather. Vocal training. <laughs> there you go, there's the reason. Okay. <laughs> No more. <laughs> Are you sure about that? I like you trying to remember the different titles. Like Names. He's, they're on their phones a lot, which shows that it, to, to combat boredom, but also a lot of pins. Notice that I wonder how many times by mistake they left them in when they were doing this scene. The little clip.
Oh, okay, here we see some of the other actors now. Look how young they I know they were young, but look how young these. <laughs> Just ask, it looks like he got told off there. <laughs> it is nice to see the other actors there. I'm just watching this interaction here. <laughs> Just, hello. Did you bring your phone? Well, I don't think you can at this moment. He was smiling there, that whole scene. Oh, it's gonna play five. See how many people are around as well? I'm not talking about just the extras, but crew. Imagine if they slipped someone in. <laughs> just to see if you would notice. Oh. He said relax, not smile. Ah, okay. I remember people telling me about the significance of the headband and what it really means. Look at them breathing their lines. How are they not cold? There you go. It's something that actors are constantly doing is usually 15 minutes, 30 minutes before performing a scene, it's going over their lines and trying to remember as much as they can. You can tell they can't keep still, especially one of them. One of them has to keep moving, it's the dancer in them. <laughs> it also shows you, when you're watching it behind the scenes, how hard it is for you to actually hear compared to when you watch the show. Hoping that water was good temperature. Oh, little water. <laughs> yeah. So it must be quite warm. Someone's behind you. Notice the, the color saturation, how different it is. Mm. Half a smile. And the music, yeah, it shows you how much goes in post production. So mischievous. Oh, when you're <laughs> 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 
，零手。Things like that, the caves, you know. 哎，我看你这墨盒不错。哎，一筷子。哎呀，有什么我呀？这种关键时刻，你就不要再计较这些，好不好 ？You gotta play around with that now. 一颗给你咯。He can't help it. He's just so jovial. Ah,、uh, we saw the blood drip down his nose. This must be in relation to another behind-the-scenes movement. But it's even what word? Ah, a very pivotal moment. They seem tired in this moment. These actors. <laughs> Feed the ego. So that was another section of behind the scenes. It is one of those things where sometimes it's a little bit jarring because you forget after watching the show so many times, and that obviously they're in the modern setting, they're in the twenty first century, they're going to have modern technology, and when they're on their phones. It does make you sit back and go, of course, because you, know, you get lost in the reality of that world of that show. But seeing them with like with the shorts on and everything when the wind is blowing, but also just how much they need to cool down a lot, because obviously here in the UK we're usually cold, not warm. But yeah,、uh, and most of the time it is just sitting down and waiting for your scene to happen. I can sense that how many times they had to do scenes. It feels like they would do a section of a scene, and not as long as you think. Cut it, redo it, redo it, redo it. So that could be tiring. They're very jovial. They like to mess about to keep the energy and the spirits up. And it was nice seeing some of the other actors because it was definitely the two main needs we saw in these behind the scenes mainly, and all of that. But what goes on behind it? Plus, it's also fun whenever you see them do the behind the scenes where they're. Filming it regularly, there's no, you know, post editing that's put into it in terms of the saturation of the color in, and then you see just how different everything is, how much they dim the surrounding so that it's not too bright, probably cater out the sound, and that's always parts that really fascinate me. Even though obviously I've been on set, it's just seeing how different it is because you could be watching a scene and go, well, when I when we filmed that, like say they like, it was really bright, but they dull it down so it makes it look like it's very windy. And, Overcast, and yeah, seeing them with their little shorts on and、uh, the the like the clips in the back. I wonder if they by accident left clips in at points and had to redo a scene, or maybe you might catch it. There's always continuity in shows, and that's what makes them fun to watch. It's also just nice to see their personalities outside of the show, <laughs> especially them bend about like three rows of lines to do when someone else has pages to do by themselves. But you can clearly tell they had a lot of fun. But there was definitely a lot of waiting around, and yeah, you'd be surprised just at how much you do wait around. Because people talk about it until you're on set, you realise, wow. Because you know, some days you could film at five six in the morning, and if you have one more scene, it's not until five six at night, depending on how long they film. I would say, depending on the laws in China, I don't know. In terms of what their hours are allowed to be, but once you're over eighteen, I think here, 
they can make you do 16 plus hours. I would say on a regular basis over here, yeah, 16, 16 plus hours for a day of filming. And that's, then obviously you have to go home, wake up. And also the costume changes. Notice as well for hair and makeup and things like that. And for continuity issues, you'll see them very quickly go and sort someone's hair out the strand or makeup or just stuff like that. You'd be, because they're obviously wearing these long wigs. Um, I can imagine, and I mean constantly, having to retouch up. So when a scene's done, retouch up, make sure it's in the right place because... You may not think people will notice, but people will notice when, say, a hair's moved because it just kind of jolts you because obviously the editing process. So, yeah, they are, and they obviously would powder you and put foundation onto you, you're not shiny. Yeah, so watching them do that, and I was like, yeah. And they do this after every scene. That was a lot of fun to watch, actually. It's been nice to kind of have that moment to watch the Untamed behind the scenes today. I think I kind of needed it with the day I've had. Thank you for watching.